On the first episode of Backcountry College, I showed you how to set up a completely enclosed tarp tent with my canvas tarp. And on that same video, I also mentioned that I had a, a, a lighter weight synthetic tarp that I often use if I want to go a little bit lighter. And I got a lot of questions about that. And so I wanted to take a quick minute just to kind of show it to you. This is a, a 10 by 12 tarp, and that's all it is. I just bought some polyester, uh, sewed it together sewed some loops onto it and there's really no limit to the way that, the number of ways that you can set this thing up as a shelter um, you can set it up in a diamond shelter a lean-to um, and so you can kind of match the conditions uh, set it up you know however it works best for you uh, for those conditions and um, and be comfortable you know this shelter does you know it weighs less than a pound it's extremely lightweight uh, material and I've been out in conditions, you know, everything ranging from summertime, warm weather stuff to uh, late season hunts where it's snowing and it's, you know, zero degrees outside. You know, the, the popularity of these little um, really lightweight floorless shelters has really gone up in the last couple of years. Um, you know, I made this one myself, but if you're not the do-it-yourself type, there's uh, companies like Kafaru and Seek Outside that are making really good, high-quality uh, shelters that are very very similar to this. I did have to waterproof this thing. Uh, polyester by itself is somewhat water resistant but uh, definitely needs something else and what I found works really good is a product by Nick Wax. Um, I just spray that stuff on there, uh, let it dry and it's good to go. If you open this thing up, I mean this this 10 by 12 tarp, there's a, plenty of room in here. Um, plenty of room for one guy and some gear or if you're really comfortable with your hunting buddy, maybe two guys. Right now I've just got this, the peak here tied up to a tree and the reason I've got this on here is just because the tree's kind of off center and it's wanting to pull the tent that way. So I just put this up here to kind of uh, center the peak up. Um, you can also, you can set this thing up exactly the way I showed you in the first video um, on tarp tent, just with the, the two cross pieces, or you can take a trekking pole or something, put it right here in the middle. When I get inside, I'll take this loop, tie it to over here to this um, peg over here, and it's completely enclosed. Uh, the bugs can't get into it, rain won't get into it. One of the things that I tend to do in the late season when it's really cold outside is I'll take a, uh, I'll, I have a, a little stove that I made and all it is is a, a metal coffee can, one of the small metal coffee cans. You take a roll of toilet paper, take the center uh, cardboard thing out and, and fit that roll of toilet paper in there and then take some isopropyl alcohol and pour around in there and that, uh, that toilet paper will soak that isopropyl alcohol up. And then you can put your, uh, your plastic lid back on the, um, on the coffee can when you get ready to light that thing up just take your lid off light the um light the toilet paper and it acts as a wick and so the, the toilet paper itself doesn't burn it's just the alcohol that burns and it burns with a real low blue flame and it works really well uh, you can put it inside this thing and um and just for a few minutes in the morning just to heat it up so it's not so doggone cold when you come out of your sleeping bag just be real careful not to get it close to your tent because this thing will catch on fire. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Backcountry College. And I hope this video has given you some idea of the versatility and uh, usefulness of these little tarp shelters. And as usual, don't forget to check us out at backcountryhunters.org. And don't forget to check out our Facebook page as well. We'll see you there.